strike away. Ground ball base now. So he gets on base and keeps it going. That's tremendous fight from him, and I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike, and he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. He's already homered here in this one. Rudder takes off. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Two outs. Runner on the go again. Spelled on, belted. And no one can get there. Jazz on his horse, coming around third. He scores to tie it up. High five now. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there, he doesn't try to do too much. Up to the plate is Brandon Belt. Hits the right center. Base hit. And he gets fired. But crosses the winning run. And they get a walk-off win. Six to five. This team was hoping they wouldn't have to hit in the bottom half of this inning. But they did because the other team scored that run. But they battled back, got the runs they needed for an awesome walk-off win. And here's the catcher, Gio the catcher, Langston, one for two. Gio Langston. On the ground to short. They get the first, and that'll keep more runs from coming in. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases low. And your final score, 5-2. And here's the first, the first baseman, baseman Blake four. Sable, one for two. Bounce to the right, and it gets by him. Lead runner around second. Now second and third, and nobody out. Nice job keeping it fair as he turned on it down the line. And once it got through the infield, it was a double all the way. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. 
Out to short. On the run. Throw to Faust. They get one out, but the tying run comes in. And the batter will be the shortstop. Geraldo Perdomo. underneath it he's got it runner tags it second and it throws off line safe at third now it's randy a rosarena he's already homered in this game on the ground to third for shella to first in time that ends the inning and and we're back all set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's going to be Zach McKinstry. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over. So a lefty out of the pen, Genesis Cabrera. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Popped up. Going up and down. That homing breaking ball looks so juicy to the hitter, and Nothing more frustrating when you miss that pitch and you pop out. He's going to have to think about that until his next at bat. The next to hit takes ball one. On the ground, right side. And it's through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They've had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And here it comes. And it's swinging for the strikeout. Just one out remaining for the Tigers. Back to the top of the Detroit order. Next is the Tigers DH, Akil Badu. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps, give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Late on that fastball. The Tigers down to their final strike. Got him! And that is the ball game. I'd say this team really needed to win this game today. It pushed them over the top to win the series, which is great. But when you go on the road in the next series, going into some hostile territory, you want to have a lot of confidence. So two down, the Jazz Chisholm Jr. Two. now. One Jazz for two. Chisholm Jr. So critical to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Guys can start to run on fumes a little bit. Mechanics can drop off. And we know they need him to be fresh and ready for big innings in October. The 0-1. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Tucker, raging back towards the wall. Pulls it in on the warning track. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're...
So the batting order turns over. The batting John Birdie at the plate. Second baseman. John Birdie. Rolled to short. Possible two ball. Over to Altuve. The double play ends it right here. And the final score here, 4-3. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. Now batting. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. Last ball for a strike. And it's 0-1. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. When you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Next okay. offering is downstairs. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced okay. by the call out there in the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. So the tying run at second stays alive. You're always having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches, and somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. The next pitch misses, and the count one and two. To short, could be two. There's the one. That's a double play. The ball game is over. Well, you can see this team is feeling it right now. Look at the smiles. Look at the high fives. They feel real good about this. On the north side of Chicago, John Chomby and Chris Singleton. And now the right fielder, Cedric Mullins. Line drive, that's a base hit. One runs in, the throw in. It's off the mark, and he scores. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. On the ground to first. Could be two. Slings to second. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. They put two on the board with a couple. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes.
Now a chance for Seiya Suzuki. And that one fouled off. With the go-ahead run at the plate here in the second game of the series. Right. Next offering upstairs. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, yeah. inning double play, Bird. Swings and misses. Going to count one and two. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. He's got to be frustrated with that call. A big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound, no question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. The Rosarena moving under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Now into the game, number 75. He takes over as the new first base Up Jackson. to the plate, it's Brandon Belt. He's been a Brandon great free agent Bell. side. Wicks back to work. That one hammered, but pulled foul. one now swing and a ground ball up the middle that's a base hit and that turns the lineup over the really nice job staying up the middle with his approach he didn't try to do too much with the pitch just shot it through the infield John Birdie at the plate down the left field line base hit Hap fires it in, and it's now first and second to start the inning. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Now the number two hitter, Gabriel Arias. That's towards center. Bellinger drifts towards it. Bellinger pulls that one down. Throw behind the runner, and they've got him doubled off. Definitely a weird play right there, and it changes the outlook of the inning completely. Nice job by the defense to take advantage and get two outs out of it, but there goes the runner. And first offering is fouled off. Birdie, the runner at first with two gone. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again, and it's fouled away. Runner on the move again. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Going two now. This one lifted in the air, left field. Hat moving under it. Corrals it. And that is that. So it's no run. So they turn things over to the righty. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set, it's the Cleveland Guardians and the Milwaukee Brewers. Hi, folks. John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton. So the Cleveland Guardians are in position to sweep this three-game series with a win. So, Chris, what's their mind? So two down. Up now for Milwaukee. Mad Dog Country Bowl. Mad Dog Country Bowl. Bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. End of one, and we're still scoreless. The center fielder, number seven. For Joe Ryan, the journey is so interesting when you think of a guy who started his college career at Cal State Northridge and then ultimately transferred to a Division II school, Cal State Stanislaus. 
Already three runs across in the frame here in the last half of the third. Wouldn't oh, chase that time. It was out of Cal State status laws that he was a seventh round pick by the Rays and then eventually got a chance to make his way through the Rays system and then was dealt for Nelson Cruz to the Minnesota Twins. In the air center field. Valera calls it in and there's two away. Up next for Milwaukee. One down, base is empty. There's a swing and he drives. Took the extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a two-bagger. All over that one right there. A well-deserved double on a great swing. The left-hander on now, Logan Allen. And this is his 40th appearance of the season, so he's starting to log a decent amount of work this year. Here's the pitch. Runner on the move. Strike in there. Throw to third. He's safe. Well, sometimes stealing third base can be tough, especially if that shortstop or second baseman are making some noises, moving towards the back, trying to make you think that you've got to stay close. Well, they didn't do a very good job of that. Get a comfortable lead, got a great jump, and that's how you steal third base. We'll hit next. That and one misses. Two. And a count two and one. Two one. One run across in the frame so far. Last half of inning number five. Right through there for a strike. Two ball, two strikes. And now it's three and two. Ball four, he missed down low. Who oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. That's a base hit as a run scores. It's around the board and picks up an idea. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now, Mad Dog Country Ball. The wind of the pitch. That's a base hit. And at first, Andrew Monasterio. Up down for the Brewers. Kicks and deals. Runner takes off. Swing and a miss. Oh, save! Well, it seems like 90 feet is such a big deal in a tight one-run game like this one. Maybe it's a little bit risky, but they felt good about it, and it paid off. Let's see if they can turn this into a big run. No outs. Runner on second. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Man at second. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. And now the lefty. Now drive, base hit. Country ball. Around third. He'll score easily. And they take a two-run lead. Oh, just a total nightmare for lefties. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the eighth. Here's the center fielder. Mad Dog Country Boy. He's a guy who does it all with the lefty contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. Ball. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then 
If this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Right-hander kicks, deals. Smoked on the ground a second. Slings the first. And a quick out number one. Four games wasn't too long of a losing streak, but they're definitely happy to be back in the win column. Now you can turn things around, get on the right track, and probably start a winning streak from here. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Well, one run game, and now it's Wilmer Flores. The first baseman, Wilmer. Swing and a miss. Strike one. They hope he's the guy to spark a comeback. He tends to play better when his team is behind, so why not him? Strike two. One run game, bottom nine. Good job to fight that one off. Fly ball down the line. And a foul ball. Looking to get the tying run on base. Stays alive. Here.
And one and two. They'll try to get him to go. Chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Got him swinging. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Wind in the box now. Take strike one. And a big swing and a miss. Trying to close out a one-run lead. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. Good eye right there. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Just off the outside corner. Ball two. Swings and misses, struck him out. Now only one out remaining. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. And here comes Tommy Edmond. That clips the zone. That's strike one. Bounce to the left side. Into the outfield base hit. And that puts the tying run on base. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. That one finds the zone. And the count to a one. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps. Give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. On the ground, and he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Got him, and that's the ball game. Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family, but when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. It makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. The final line score for our ball game tonight. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Back to the top Leading of the lineup, the Stephen A's. Kwan digs no in now. Stephen Kwan. Ball oh, one, no it. strikes. Country he boy, a former all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a splitter, a slider, a sinker, and occasionally uses a cutter. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Zips it to oh. first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. He's Wilson two outs now, away. Out. Jacob Wilson will hit next. Eight. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Oh, Base is empty one away. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. And he grounds one to the right side. Terang He's over out. to first in time. Two up, two down. A couple of pitches now, and a quick out. Designated hitter. Juan Soto now. Oh. There's something pretty special Soto. about a player hitting 400 career home runs. Hey. He's one shy of that mark right here. So Look this could be here. an historic at bat. The pitch. Ground ball, and this should do it. Throw to first. Out. Ball game. And the Brewers slug their way to a win in this one. You know, even when this team was trailing by six, it seemed like they had confidence that they could get back in this ball game. I don't know if they knew they could win it in this fashion, but they did an excellent job of executing in the little ways. The they grinded it out and came away with a nice tonight. W. For the victorious Brewers, nine runs on ten hits. No errors. They Mad Dog Batting Country four. Boy Stay up down for the Brewers. He's going to finish with a new career Country high in boy. stolen bases, Chris.
That one is absolutely belted. Go, get up, get up. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Now around second, going for third. The relay throw, and, and he's down. out. Absolutely perfect execution the of the relay, relay right there to cut him down. And burn. The center hey, fielder, time, number right seven, Mad Dog, Mad Dog. Country, Country Boy. Boy. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Snags it on the run, and that's the third out. Come on, big Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And the batter now, Clark Elliott. Clark Elliott. And the pitch. In the air out to center, Country Boy. Has a beat on it, corrals it. One down. Go Chris through the early. The center hey, like fielder, you can number up there. seven. Like you can. Let's go. Mad Dog, Country, Country Boy. Hey! See it, drive it. The Brewers right trailing by three, and we're the top half of the sixth. And there's a fly ball deep right get over, field. Get over, get over. Calls it in on the warning track. On the mound, he had a little trouble back in the first, but it's been a different story the rest of the way. The right. Mad Dog Country seven. Boy. Up Mad now dog. for the Brewers. Country One boy. for three. To the right side, and it's through for a hit. Coming home. He'll score. It's six to three. Country Boy hey, wait, into second, and he's got a double. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a Robert now, Garcia board, yeah, gets handed it. the rock out of the pen. Number well, walks have certainly been an issue Robert. for him this season, so Garcia. we'll see what kind of command he has. Now at the plate, uh. Sal Fralick. Next offering Nobody's is better. in Quick for a strike. Right well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away Whoa. at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Action in the pen down there. Mason Miller appears to be getting loose. Looking good, looking the good. The tying Don't run at there. the plate. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Hey, get your pitch. No one better up there. And he deals. Battling here as he fouls it away. Lefty hey, continues no to work, but the closer right getting loose in the bullpen. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Hey, your turn, drive it. Here we go right here, no one better, no one better. And another ball. Count. Andrew Monasterio waits on deck. Hey, big mama right here, we need you. Here we go. Downstairs and it misses, ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. When you go that deep into an at bat, bad. the hitter the usually comes out on top. Hey, and two Andrew. outs, yeah, here bases Monasterio. full. Here's the third baseman, Andrew Monasterio. Hey, big moment. We need you. Here we go. Swing and a miss. Two. And a count one and two. One ball. Well, a come and two get strength. me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything That's off bolted. speed right here. Try to hey, get him to chase on the change up that Stop. time. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Sizing this one up. Brings it in. And that's the third out. We've grown to expect him to just roll in the games and simply close them out easily. And he's made it look very easy at times. And now he's up to 40 saves for the year. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious athletics. Six
Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the night. Luis Arise stands in. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. And a swing and a miss. Yeah, his swing is so good, it's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Way out front for strike two. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug, no question about it. But the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact, with less swing and miss. Now the Giants' four-hitter, Alexis Zepeda. And a swing and a miss there. A big swing and a miss. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he gets wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. One down, base is empty. And a base hit. Alejandro Kirk, the next giant to hit. Right through there for a strike. Country boy, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a splitter. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Still able to get it there in time. And they come away with an out after a tricky start to the play. And now Marco Luciano. Just a great effort all the way around at third base right there. Nice job to get a glove on it with the dive, but it was the recovery that was so impressive. If he doesn't hop to his feet and get the throw off in such a fluid motion of it, I kind of doubt he gets the out. Country boy. He's kind of a prototypical bullpen arm in today's game. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. One hit, one left. Part of the... And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Milwaukee Brewers going up against the Cincinnati Reds. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John. So two down. Come on, now it's the switch hitting outfielder. Mad Dog Country Boy. Mad Dog Country Boy. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That one carry. And it's gone. He circles the bases. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 2-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. 
Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. You're working with this kind of velocity so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you... Foul ball there. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine oh. whether or not he can score on that one base one. hit. Base hit, one run in already. The throw in. And the throw's offline, safe at third. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down. It's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Next to hit, Andrew yeah. Monasterio. On the inside corner for a strike. Still in the second, already at 44 pitches, so some concern there. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Melendez pulls it down, runner tags for home. Applies the tag, and they get two. Double play. That ends the inning, but they do score a run here. The center field, number seven. Madjohn, country boy. And it's fouled away. Deal one. Out of line, out towards center. Melendez calls it in, and there's two away. And now the center fielder, right, Mad go. Dog easy, easy. Country Boy. Mad Dog. He's already homered in this game. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. Tosses to first. That's the third out. Man at first. Tyler Stevenson getting ready to hit. In the air, center field. And it drops in. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone. Digging oh, in is the switch inning outfielder, Mad Dog Country Boy. Dog. He's already homered here in this one. There's a strike. Some hitters are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Good eye oh. in that spot. The 1-1. One, one. And a foul ball. That one is absolutely belted. Base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Now the tag at second, know. and he's out. Trying for two. Got to love the hustle. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Mad Dog Country Boy. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Just oh. missed. Tired or not, he's relentless with the way he pitches. He might be exhausted out there, but his stuff is still nasty. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Oh, and that liner got him. To 
first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. And a run comes in to score. And now they'll hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on the knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. So first and second with one gone, Andrew Monasterio. Line drive, base hit. Around third, fires it to the plate. The tag, out. Jefferson Carroll now at the plate. Two outs. And a ground ball to first. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Flips it behind his back. And that is that. One run in the country boy was outstanding in this ball game, helping them get the win. Collected four hits, one of them left the park. Though they may want to change how they approach him next time because he was just incredible in this one. He looked like a threat every time he came up. Time of the ball game. Four hours and nine minutes. Thank you. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. And now the switch hitting catcher, Cal Raleigh. Right through there for a strike. Gets the call for a two down. Looking to get the tying run on base. And a swing and a miss. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Mason Wynn next up for the Cardinals. Strike one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. One down, base is empty. Over the splitter for strike three. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, hit the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. Swing and a miss as he was out front. All right, there's number eight, one away. That's the ball game. He's done it again, Bird. That's his 30th save of the year as he puts another game to bed. Sweet dreams, everyone. The final run score for our ball game tonight for the Victoria Brewers. Three runs on three hits. No errors left. Welcome in, John Chomby, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Here's Nolan Gorman. Pitch misses inside, and yeah, that's ball one. Country boy, a former all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a splitter, a slider, a sinker, and occasionally uses a cutter. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. And down on strikes he goes. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Jordan Walker digs in now. And ball one. One ball, no strike. Wouldn't chase that time. 
Two ball. No strike. Swings and misses. And a count two and one. The Brewers trying to close out a two run lead here at the top of the ninth. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. Let's see if he can strike out the side. Lewis in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. On the ground, and this should do it. Here the first ball game. And the Brewers take the first two games of this series. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. The final run for our ball game tonight. For the big Mad Dog Lead Country Boy up now for the Brewers. The center fielder, Mad Dog Country Boy. Here comes a pitch. Grounded to Gorman. The throw to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Batting fifth. No left fielder. Here's Nolan Gorman. The 0-1. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. He's got it. Grounder tags at second. The throw to third. In there. He's safe. Now we'll see if moving up to third there pays off for him. He didn't have to tag. Here's Royce Lewis. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle of the base hit. The throw in. Runner holds a third, so just one across on the play. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire. Here's the center fielder. The pitch. Line drive, base hit. Oh, back in trouble. Two outs, runner at first. And up next for St. Louis, Jordan Walker. Two outs. And that one is lifted in the air. Country boy sizes this one up. Makes the grab. And that's the third out. Two runs, three hits. The center field, number seven. Mad Dog, Country boy. Well struck left field. Marsh running hard. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Around third. One run in. Here comes another. Two runs across now. In there safely. And it's 8-3. Well, they call it one of the most exciting plays in baseball for a reason, Bull. Always fun to see it inside the park. Bro. Man, he was flying out of the box. And I think that by the time he was getting a second, he had it in his mind to go all the way. That's his great hustle from start to finish. And here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. The catcher, number Lewis, aboard here at first with nobody out. Center field. Country board makes a nice running catch. Now batting. Now here is Jordan Walker. The pitch. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Has a beat on it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Find me a barrel right here. 
It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit this game a little early. Righty delivers. That one is absolutely belted. That's down. One hops off the wall. Around third. Relay throw home. He will score. And it's 8 4. Comes through with the RBI. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out far and lifted it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Sal Fraley up now for the Brewers. And it's second. Runner takes off for third. There's the ball. Throw to third. He's safe. Sometimes stealing third base can be tough, especially if that shortstop or second baseman are making some noises, moving towards the back, try to make you think that you've got to stay close. Well, they didn't do a very good job of that. Get a comfortable lead, got a great jump, and that's how you steal third base. Two down. Ground ball left side. Gathers and throws the first. One away is the second one of the and stepping in for the Cardinals, Francisco Alvarez. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Country boy makes the grab for the second out. Two outs, nobody on. Next to hit, Mason Wynn. Now better. The Two down, Mason nobody on. Win. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. And he's got himself a triple. He was all over that one. Pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do. So one out, nobody on. Next to hit, Mad Dog Country Boy. He's already homered in this game. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Under it. And there's two down. Now up for St. Louis, Jordan Walker. Out towards right center field. Country boy calls it in for the out. And there are two out. Well, when you win by nine runs, you have plenty of insurance runs. It's a huge confidence boost when you can just put that many runs up on the board. And I'll tell you what, the next game starter is saying, hey, I hope you all save some runs for me. I want to get a Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Now it's the second baseman, Ezekiel Duran. 0 for 3, a fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Just missed. Country Boy, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a splitter, a slider, a sinker, and occasionally uses a cutter. Swing and a miss. Oh 
Next offering is in for a strike. Right-handed reliever. Potted looking for the game. Ezekiel Tobar digging in for the Rockies. Just missed. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball. The pitch. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. One, two now. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. Number 61 stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Two down, nobody on. Here in the second game of the series. Ground ball, and this should do it. For the first ball game, and the Brewers even this series up in a game of peace. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. And now it's Austin Hayes for the Giants. No left field. They hope he's the guy That's to spark fair. a comeback. He tends to play better when his team is behind, so why not him? A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Oh, Country boy, a former All Star. He features a four seam fastball, a splitter, a slider a sinker, and occasionally uses a cutter. And a swing to miss. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Luisa Rise stands in. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. You often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the ball in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Kicks and deals. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. All season long, he's racked up a number of saves, and sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there are two outs. Well, that was the cutter down and in right there. And typically, if you're going to have a chance with the pitch, if it's down, that's your best chance of doing anything with it. It's kind of like a mini slider, just with a little less vertical movement. But still, that one tied him up, but he couldn't get the barrel to it. 2 0. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Just about gives his skipper a heart attack, but that's where he functions best. And a swing and a miss there. This could end it. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. 
it's always nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background isn't what you like, but they didn't let any of those things distract them. In fact, they looked like they were playing a home game. Excellent job to set the tone for this the series. The final line for our ball game tonight for the Victoria Brewers. Nine runs, 11 hits. No one they left eight runs. So two down, next for Milwaukee, Mad Dog, Mad Dog. Country Boy. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Hard ground ball, base now. Donovan, rounds third, headed for the plate. The throw is offline, and he's in to score. And it's 1-0. Not sure if too many people have been paying attention to it quite yet, Siggy, but that extends his hit streak to 11 now. Well, I know he knows about it, even if a lot of our viewers don't, and this is when it's clear it's no fluke. 11 games in a row, man, that's when even the hitting coach starts to leap. Rudder takes off, swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Good job at damage control right there. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the big time power threat, Mad Dog Country Bowl. Country Bowl, multi-time All-Star, 23 years old. And he's driven in double-digit runs over his last 10 games. Nope, ball. ball one, no strikes. On the ground, right that's side, foul. and that's just foul. And Let another ball. ball. Left field. Calls it in, and there's one away. So the lineup flips over. And up next for the Giants, Garrett Mitchell. Two outs. Out towards right center field, Country Boy. Sizes this one up, brings it in, and that is the third out of the inning. And we're back, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And digging in for San Francisco, Austin Hayes. And a pitch. That's out to center field. Country ball on the move. Makes the catch for the out. And there's one away. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Foul ball. And the pitch. That missed. That's the ball. And that one is lifted in the air. O'Neill drifts towards it. Makes the catch in a goal. Nothing doing here. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the sixth inning. And digging in for San Francisco, Nick Prado. Left-hand hitter waits. Field. And aboard on the leadoff single. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Pretty good spot. And up next for San Francisco, Garrett Mitchell. The pitch. Swung on, belted. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Lead runner around second, and he's got a double.
put a really nice balanced swing on it and when you can rope one into the gap like that you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box and he'll feel real good about that one out to center country ball squeezes it both runners tagging now a long throw home and he's in there a run comes in on the play Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Get the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. Center field. Country ball under it. That is the inning. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Mad Dog Country Boy. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. And a foul ball. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. There's a swing and a drive. This looks like extra bases. One run is in around third. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down. It's like he's moving in full speed and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he has seen it like a beach ball. dugout now and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound George Kirby gives way and we'll be back with their first arm on the mound now Tristan Beck this guy's a strike thrower he's done an excellent job of avoiding walks so far this season one down and now Sal Fraley the tying run at the plate line drive he's got it here comes the runner from third He'll score on the sack fly, and now they trail by one. That wasn't your standard sack fly. And now the center fielder, Mad Dog Country Boy. A chance for more damage right here. A couple of RBIs for him in his last A-B. That misses the zone. Ball one. Still only one out here in the inning. Hit hard. Base hit around third he'll score easily and they take a three run lead it's a double third hit of the night for him so man aboard now the left fielder sal Fraley. jelly throws over country boy back on a dive The pitch. Runner takes off for third. That's it for a strike. The throw. Tag. And he's out. Well, I can see he had a big lead out there at second base. So Next will be the Giants DH. Ryan Bliss. The Giants down to their final strike. Sends it to center, and that's going to do it. Makes the catch. Ball game. And the move. To take the first two games of this series on the road. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Players start hitting up and down the lineup. You never know who's going to come up with a big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs, but it's a good feeling. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. 
So coming into the game now on defense, Sal Fraley. He'll be out in left field. Number 10. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's strikeout number 100 on the year. Well, I definitely say that's a statement strikeout right there. You come out of the bullpen, go right after the hitters, and three pitches later, you got one out. Tell you what, if you're in the dugout, if you're looking at each other and saying, he's going to be tough to get to today. Miranda, that if one down, takes a strike. And the slider just misses. One ball, one strike. Going to count one and two. and a miss struck him out. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly, but you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. Hard hit, left side. Throw the first, ball game. And the Brewers with the rubber match of this three-game series. Well, the goal when you go on the road is to at least play 500 ball. Well, they've been winning series. They win this one here. And you got yourself a little bit of breathing room, but you want to keep the same Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the Milwaukee Brewers. Mad Dog Country Bowl. Up now for the Brewers. Maybe not an elite level switch hitter, but still a guy. Some contact and just success as a hitter for both sides of the plate. Swung on, belted. Crawford going back on this one. Pulls it in on the warning track. This is Bryson Stott. The second baseman, Bryson Stott. Two down, nobody on. Center field. As this one sized up, makes the play, and it's out number three. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Johan Rojas. Two on, two outs. And that one in the air center field. Country boy on his way over. Makes the catch. In and over. Phillies. So the lineup flips over. Trey Turner now. It center field around third fires it to the plate and he's out up down and that ends the inning right wing play at the plate right there outfielder needed no help an absolutely perfect throw to get him right on the money excellent tag by the catcher and the inning ends on an awesome play Ready to go, bottom four. Stepping in, the long ball threat, Mad Dog Country Boy. That one fouled off. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. 
Ripped to short, snagged on a bounce. To first. Lowbrow, and he can't take it out. Most of the time, this base will make those picks in the boat look pretty easy, but that was a tough one on his backhand side right there. He got his glove down and gave it. The other takes off. Swing and a miss. Save and sink it, and that was not close. Jefferson Carroll up now for the Brewers. At the belt and fires. Brother takes off. Pitching for a strike. Throw to third. Save. What a guy's got that kind of lead at second base. Somebody's got to call timeout. Pitcher's got to step up. The catcher's got to ask the young for time or something. You can't let him get out that far when you don't have a good throw behind the plate. He's going to steal third almost standing up. That's a really good. Here's a high fly ball out to center. He's got it. Runner tagging from third. The throw is offline. He's saved. And they trail by one. And we're back. Top six. And now for the Phillies, Bryson Stock. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Couldn't have timed it out. Out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball. The center fielder, number seven. Light drive. He makes the catch, and there's two down. That swing right there tells me he's seen the Aiden Miller stands in for the Phillies. In the center. Country ball. Settles under this one. Makes the grab. Out number two. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom nine. And now Mad Dog Country Bowl. And a little something extra at stake in this at bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. Squeezes it. And a quick out number one. Great swing of the bat right there. Trying to get on as that go-ahead run. He just wasn't it. Mad Dog Country Bowl. Up now for the Brewers. And with the game going to extras, he's still got a chance to keep his hitting streak going. Now a screamer into the outfield. Drops into the glove. Both runners tagging from second and third. And he's safe at third as a run scores on the play. Not good at all right there. First and second. No outs. Bryson Stock digs in now. And he'll walk. Out towards right center field. Brings it in. Runner tags it second. And he makes it up to third with one away. The batter now will be Will Smith. The pitcher, Two on, one out. Ripped into center base hit. In to score from third. They've got the lead 6-5. Everything came together for him. Everything was... Well, when you go to road trip, if you're looking to play 500 or better, and the only way you do that is when you scratch and claw and you grind out. And they did that oh, this one. one well, they didn't win on the road. Very impressive. Players are going to come into the clubhouse for the next game. Welcome in, John Chappie, Chris Singleton. The late stages of this one, nobody out in the night. Aiden Miller stands in for the Phillies. Swing and a miss. And it's a little long. Country boy, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a splitter, a slider, a sinker, and occasionally uses a cutter. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. In for a strike, two and one now. 
all season long. He's racked up a number of saves, and sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a... Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. Kyle Tucker. Bringing in some thunder in a big spot, and they're hoping he can get a hold of one for sure. With the tying run at the plate, here in the second game of the series. There's the high heat past them. That's a strikeout. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more. The Bills down to their final strike. Getting it done out of the pit. The final run score for ball game tonight for the Victoria Cruz. Four runs on the left. Welcome in, John Chami, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the night. So coming into the game now on defense, Jose Siri. He takes over and right. Foul ball there. And a pitch. Swings and misses. A two Scott's being at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And a one-two. Keeps the event going with a foul ball. A one-two. Got it. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. He's two outs away. Here's Bryce Harper. And that's him for a strike. Country boy, a former all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a splitter, a slider, a sinker, and occasionally uses a cutter. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. And he held up. Two down, nobody on. Here in the third and final game of the series. Hard hit to third. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Brewers slip their way to a win in this one. I'd say this team really needed to win this game today. It pushed them over the top to win the series, which is great. But when you go on the road in the next series, going into some... So now it's the four Maddie hole Cole. hitter, Mad Dog the Country field. Boy. Mad Dog Country Boy. Welcome back to the ballpark. 
Second inning, set to go. And now the shortstop, Jordan Lawler. Jordan Lawler. Here comes the pitch. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Falls it in for the out. Jose Miranda, the next to hit. The Brewers leading by five here in game three of this four-game series. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. The center fielder, number seven, Mad Dog, Country Boy. And a ground ball to first. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Now he gets it to the pitcher covering the bat. One down, one now down. the D-backs catcher. One out, base is empty. This one in the air center field. Puts it away for the out. And at first, here's the center fielder, Jorge Barosa. The 01. Into center, country boy. One left for the. And we're back. We All set Arizona. for the start of the inning. Here's Cattell Marte. Cattell Marte. The 1 2. Out there to center. Settles underneath it. He's got it. And there's one down. Man at first. And now the right fielder, Romy Gonzalez. And that one in the air center field. Country boy makes the catch. And there's one down. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now it's going to be no Mad Dog receiver. Country Boy. Mad Dog. Mena back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Look, well, after watching the first inning of this one, you would not have expected that this pitcher would be in such a groove and still in the ball game at this point. Miranda takes it to the bag. And here is Mad Dog Country Boy. He's already homered in this game. On a line, base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. So up next, Andrew Monasterio. Let's go, right here. Right through there for a strike. And he can't make the play. But plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. Dude, that's a good at bat simply because they found a way to move the both runners up a base. Now they're in a really good spot with two runners in scoring position. So digging in, Jefferson Carroll. Two outs. A big swing and a miss. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Justin Martinez, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Chavez warming up as well. And another ball. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Right side, hard hit. On to first. And that's the inning. Cattell Marte up to the plate. In the air, center field. Country boy has a beat on it. He makes the grab. This pitcher done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Country boy was outstanding in this ball game, helping them get the win. Really impressive work at the dish, Boo. He gave his teammates a lot of opportunities in this one.
Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Andres Valdez getting ready to hit. The left fielder, Andres Valdez. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Field two. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Settles underneath it. Squeezes it. One up, one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. Aguero. In the box now. Take strike one. That's a strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Headed towards the corner. He's under it. Two away down. Nick Gonzalez, the next pirate to hit. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. Late with the swing there. 0 and 1. Hey, two out. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. That's the third out, and we'll... We're in extras here at the plate for Pittsburgh. Number 19. And a little something extra at stake in this at-bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. With the right hitter back to work. That's out to center field. Chorio drifts towards it. Makes the grab. And there's one away. The center field. Luke Rayleigh, 55. the next pirate to hit. Taking his first at bat here in extra innings after coming in on defense. That one close ruled a ball. And that's ball one. For whatever reasons, this is a hitter that performs better in night games. We'll see what he brings in this one. Swing and a miss. One and two. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. And a swing and a miss. That's out number two. Now, Boog, it becomes pretty difficult as a teammate when a guy's struggling like this. You don't know if you want to go up and tell him to keep swinging it or if you want to give him his space, what exactly he needs. But right now, it's clearly a struggle for him, and you're just hoping that somehow, some way, it'll click and he can get out of this as quickly as possible. Next offering is in for a strike. The winning run on second base. Swings and misses. Struck him out. A lot of adrenaline. We can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's Bottom of the inning. Now it's the right fielder. Zach McKinstry. Country boy. Back to work. Just missed. Just missed with a good breaking ball in. Looking for that hitter to chase and perhaps get some weak contact or a swing and miss. Good job on both sides. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss struck him out. And there's another strikeout, and those are just continuing to pile off. His confidence level has got to be dropping. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment boot, get back on track. His team needs him. Matt Veerling digs in now. Veerling hitting better against right-handers this year, so some reverse splits there. And it's second. Fall off foul. 2-2. Two -two. Good eye right there. 
Really good take, especially with two strikes. Henry Davis. You're back next. Three and two. Payoff pitch. Got him. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. Henry Davis, the next pirate to hit, gets him to chase after that one. There's the swing and a miss. He's falling behind in a huge spot, dude. Got to do what it takes to come through. Maybe choke away. And a swing and a miss. And the Pirates go one, two, three. So ready to go for the last half of the inning. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Andres Valdez. And he takes one right on the black. It's 0-1. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. When you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it. But this is just one up, one down. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Leover Peguero. Now fly ball to right center. He's under it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. Out number two. So they're down to their final out. Now it's the DH, Nick Gonzalez. Trying to deliver as the hero. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Now, Boo, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. So the tying run at second. And that's a little bit high. Three and oh. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. That one finds the zone. And now three and one. And the right hander deals. Found a call here. Rolls foul. Country boy is just one strike away. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Man on second, two down. Swings and misses. Struck him out. And that ends the ball game. The tying run left stranded at second. This team secures a winning season with the W today. And regardless of what else happens the rest of the way, you know that you're a winning ball club. So a little bit of pressure off. Put your foot on the gas and just see where you can finish from this point on. The final line here of our ball game. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We and now it's Mark Vientos. Two outs. That's towards center. Country boy makes the catch. And that stepping in the long ball. Red Mad Dog Country Boy. He's already set a new career best for stolen bases in a season, Chris. That smash towards center. Makes the catch in a goal. Base is empty. 
There's a slam and a drop. And that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. Country boy coming home. Saved. He comes all the way around for an inside the park home run. Well, they call it one of the most exciting plays in baseball for Weisenberg. Always fun to see an inside the park. Hey Two hey outs, bases hey loaded. Luis Angel Acuna up now for the Mets. Center field. Under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Well, they get one. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. That one is absolutely belted. Long run on his horse. Pops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. That ball exploded off his bat and off the warning track as well as it bounced over the fence. It sounded really good, too. He just put together a really nice swing and just missed a home run. Digging in, Sal Freeland. Runner takes off. Man at second. Runner goes again. Pitch misses inside. Transfer bobbled and there's no throw. And another ball. Foul off again. And it remains three and two. Two outs. Gets a piece and stays alive. And here it comes. Foul ball and it remains a full count. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. And a swing and a miss. He battled for a long time, but it... One down. Ronnie Mauricio now. This to center field. Country boy. Settles under this one. Makes the grab. Two down. So the batting order turns over. And now Drew Gilbert. And the right-hander deals. And that one in the air center field. Country boy drifts towards it, nabs it. Both runners tagging from second and third. Fires it to the plate, and he's in there as a run scores. So up next for New York, Kevin Parada. Two down, nobody on. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Squeezes it, and that is that. One hit in the inning. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Joe Jimenez. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. And he deals. And first offering is fouled off. Hey, let her rip right here. The pitch. Lays out and makes the play. Such an impressive play. It's always nice to grab the opener of the series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background isn't what you like, but they didn't let any of those things distract them. Welcome in, John Chami, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Luis Angel Acuna up now for the Mets. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. In there at the knees. Strike one. Country boy, a former all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a splitter, a slider, a sinker, and occasionally uses a cutter. 
Ball one there. Up the middle, and that squirts through. And the leadoff man aboard. Now the third baseman, Miguel Trevino. Pitch misses there, and that is ball one. Acuna gets his lead at first with nobody out. And that is cut on and missed. And it's one and one. And a swing and a miss there. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a better play. Swing and a miss struck him out. And now it's Mark Vientos. That one's in there. It's all around. Man at first, one away. Right through there for a strike. That's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation going on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. Man. You just want to take that with that. Oh, interesting. And he's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeout. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. And a pitch. Swings and misses. And a count. 22. On the ground to the left. Pinto. Tosses across the first. And the inning is over. So no. Thank mm -hmm. you.